<laughs> the FDA has approved. Hey, this is big news. This is huge. The yeah. FDA has approved a new treatment for Alzheimer's. Did you hear this? It's the first drug cleared by government health officials that could slow the cognitive decline for people living with the disease. It's also the first Alzheimer's treatment to get federal approval in almost 20 years. The drug, known as Azucanumab, that's a fun name, was developed by Biogen. The FDA's decision, however, is coming with mixed reviews. It comes just seven months after all 10 members of an FDA advisory committee voted there was not enough evidence to show that this drug is effective. But some stakeholders have also voiced concern over the drug's price, thinking it may be too expensive for some patients. Now, it's really unknown how much it's going to cost right now. It'll likely take a few months before the drug is made available to the general public. We're going to keep you posted on that one for sure. Hey, put this on the list to keep your kids busy. The Grand Rapids Public Library is seeking kid sleuths for their super secret summer reading challenge. Kids and teens will complete activities on a game board. GRPL will have weekly mystery science team kits for participants to take home and solve. The library is also offering virtual and in-person events, including a scavenger hunt, some spy movies, and even some crime tours. The program is free. It's going to run through Labor Day, so all summer long. Perfect. Kids who complete the program will actually get a t-shirt and some other prizes, too. Hey, the Michigan International Auto Show. They're teaming up with Studio Park in downtown Grand Rapids for this cool VIP rooftop party and movie premiere. You know, the new Fast and Furious movie, F9, is coming out. So this car-themed event on June 24th will be a fundraiser for the Helen DeVos Children's Hospital Foundation. And the night's going to kick off with cocktails. And then the party goer is going to have a chance to see the new F9 movie at 7 p.m. Now, event tickets are limited to only 200 people. They're $100 a person. And they are available on Showspan's website. But what an opportunity. Yeah. Rooftop party. Very cool. I think F9. it's on the rooftop of a garage, too, or the parking garage. Cool. Because all the car, cool yeah, cars around. That's yeah, neat. Yeah. Hey, if you're on a stroll through the streets of Detroit, you might find that the murals on the wall sort of jump out at you. Look at this. And now with the launch of a new app, the works of art do electrify. Detroit is a launching an app that uses augmented reality to bring that city's work of art to life. Watch those. Those are really cool. Neat. Okay, this all was started by three brothers. They're sharing the app as part of the Electrify Detroit Augmented Reality Mural Festival this summer. The brothers say the outdoor experience is designed to bring visitors to lesser known parts of the Motor City, but they also hope it'll give local artists and some businesses a little boost in foot traffic. The Augment Reality murals are spread across six different neighborhoods. We're such an artsy city. Right, we gotta do How this. is this not yeah, here yet? It's coming. You know it's gotta be coming to us, yeah. right? Look at that. The wow. tentacle of the squid cool. comes right out of the wall. Now, you might call this nostalgia in a bottle. There it is. Detroit-based soda company Fago has released a new flavor that tastes like red, white, and blue bomb pops. Nice. Remember those yeah. every 4th of July, right? Fago Firework combines the flavors of blue raspberry, lime, and cherry. The newest flavor will be sold in 24-ounce bottles throughout the Midwest, as well as available for purchase online. The Firework flavor is part of the Can't Stop the Pop campaign. <laughs> Each bottle of Firework will have a QR code on it. You can scan it with your smartphone and be taken to Fago's Can't Stop the Pop.com, where you can enter for weekly giveaways, maybe win some Fago merch. Pretty cool.